but things looking better for us, you said. Yeah, much better for us, Russ. Mm -hmm. It's incredible down there. The humidity in New Orleans this morning was as, as humid as it gets. Right. The dew point was up near 80, which is just, it's just disgusting. I mean, it's yeah. unbelievable. For a place that already gets incredibly right. humid. And, and it doesn't get something. much more humid than that right. anywhere in the U.S. Right. So they've really been dealing with it. For us, though, I mean, we had the round yesterday. We're going to have some cleanup in spots, but... I mean, you cannot buy a better forecast from here on out. That is good. You really can't. Greatness. Good spot to be on the map. Mm -hmm. So uh, let's get into it. Let's plan out your weekend, Northeast Ohio. Are you doing some yard work? Well, give the thumbs up both days. Uh, the only excuse I have for you is that it's too perfect Saturday and, well, it's Father's Day on Sunday. So if you need to get out of it, there you go. In terms of your weekend, this is what it looks like. 74 degrees tomorrow for a high. Beautiful, sun-filled skies, not a cloud in the sky tomorrow. We will have some late-day high clouds on your Father's Day. Temperatures up near 80 degrees. Tonight, though, we've got a cool night. Remember, I said high pressure is settling in. It's got a settling effect on the atmosphere. That kind of brings all the cooler air down to the surface. So we're down to the 50s for many of you already. I don't think we'll see upper 40s in too many spots. Some of the outline locations could get down there, but mainly low 50s ought to do it. And the reason why, this is our dew point. This measures how muggy it feels, and it's really not that muggy outside. We haven't had a lot of humidity at this year the temperature cannot fall below this number right here all right once it reaches this number you have 100 percent saturation there you get fog we're not expecting that uh, but again i think we'll stay in the low 50s for most of us tonight dry air all across the great lakes where's the humidity been all the way towards the deep south this pattern has shifted basically where the warmth normally is this time of year it's been way far to the south and we have been on the cooler side of things lingering rain yeah it's kind of cleared up we have the low pressure that went by yesterday the forcing the strong short wave with that that produced all that severe weather is now off the coast of the Carolinas. We've got these lingering clouds and showers up in the northeast. Frontal boundary down to the south. That's where we like it because we have the stable air behind that. But that severe weather that Jay Gray mentioned continues. This is day four in a row now of a complex of storms that's developed somewhere near Oklahoma and Arkansas and just blasted its way all the way down to the south. They've had numerous reports of severe weather once again tonight. All this heading towards the panhandle of Florida, Texas, more storms there. And another night of severe weather out in Colorado and Kansas. They've had quite a go of it. So why the severe weather there and why did we get it in the action? Well, this is the cooled, the colder jet stream. It's called the polar jet, but it's coming from the north, bringing the cooler air up here. But this is a subtropical jet stream, which is normally a little farther north this time of year. It is way down to the south. So they've got jet energy punching into these storms when normally the bigger storms this time of year are further north. So as long as that subtropical jet stays down to the south, our severe weather risk is going to be fairly low as we go throughout the week. And one of the products that it's a sinking effect of this high pressure as it moves in. You notice when we got back to sunshine today, it wasn't quite sunny. It was kind of murky and hazy. That was that atmospheric smoke I was telling you about the last couple of days. It is thickest right now. As the high moves in, though, it'll start to disperse the smoke. So I think we get back to blue skies this weekend. May have a little haze here and there. It'll look like some cirrus clouds. But overall, we're going to clear that atmosphere up. This is not smoke from wildfire in southern Ontario like it was about a week and a half ago. It's from central Canada, so most of it's aloft. That's great news. Problem is, we don't have a lot of rain in the future as we go through next week to clear this thing out. So let's take you short, short term here. Your National Design Mart Hour by our forecast. Cool morning tomorrow morning. Lots of sunshine. We'll make it up into the 70s. Slightly cooler near the lakeshore. But albeit it is going to be a perfect day regardless of how cool you are near the lakeshore. Saturday evening plans look good. And a little bit cooler waking up Sunday morning. I think we'll have some 40s then as that high pressure sets up shape. Then we're up into the 80s or near 80 degrees on Sunday. Where do we go from there? Low pressure pulls away. We'll have some activity in the plains, but the high pressure sinking in will block it. So we're going to stay dry Monday into Tuesday. This low will go around it. It'll sink down to the south. This will be the big weather story next week. A big old low down towards the south. They'll get lots of rain down there. How far north does this moisture make it? Can we pop a shower or a storm Tuesday afternoon? Possible. Wednesday, possible. But after that, it looks like this low is going to stay down out of the south and at some point it will eject out of the south. Do we get rain next weekend? It kind of looks like it right now. Models diverge in that solution. But here's the problem. We could use more rain. I know we just got a lot of rain in a lot of spots, but a lot of us didn't. And notice where the rain isn't over the next week. We don't want to get back into a bad drought again. Your precip summary on the year, though, this is what's helping us. The two inch surplus on the year in Cleveland, Akron, you're really close to where you should be. And the same thing down for Mansfield. There's your drought monitor. A lot of us still in moderate drought. They'll update that, though, next Thursday based on the rain we just got. Union Home Mortgage 10 day forecast. We are in the 80s with some heat next week to kick off summer rust and then maybe some rain chances next weekend. All right, Matt, thanks a lot.